Hello writers and welcome to another episode of Highway to Hell and today we have another quick one again based off the Game Informer magazine and this is asking the question who are the fallen? So in the video game we are going to see the fallen so there's the blood which is the ancient race that Lilith is a descendant of and the blood is kind of like Cthon and those type of beings or that level of power and Lilith is like their underling but she's also the mother of all demons and underneath her are her children the Lilin but she actually does have blood relatives in Sarah the caretaker who works at the abbey and helps guide you throughout the story and then you as the hunter, whether you're a male or female, whichever character you decided to design from the game, you are the child of Lilith, a blood child. So Lilith has you, has Sarah, has Cthon as her upper management, I guess. Uh, and then she also has the Lilin, but then there's also the Fallen. So Firaxis actually calls these corrupted versions of popular characters the Fallen. So in this game, much like, you know, the symbiote games we've seen before with Spider-Man with Web of Shadows and stuff where you'll see possessed heroes and villains. It looks like we're going to get that in this game, which I think is really cool because I know a lot of people, whenever we get the last three characters revealed, there will be people out there who won't be happy, I'm sure. They'll be like, oh, I wanted this character in it or I wanted that character on the roster. We may still get those characters later on in DLC, so you never know. But this is a good way to just keep the Marvel Universe in this game. And that's what I was hoping for was that this wasn't like an early years Marvel Universe where there's not that many heroes. No, these people have teamed up and take down Thanos and everything else. So this is a fully fleshed out Marvel Universe and it seems like a lot of those heroes and villains are available now to be corrupted by Lilith. So with one simple touch, one of her powers, she can touch someone and corrupt them and turn them into a fallen. And so they'll become, you know, demented versions of their former selves. So I was thinking about that and thinking back to that screenshot of uh, Caretaker talking to Hunter and mentioning Agatha Harkness and Wanda. And I was thinking, wouldn't that be cool if Wanda does show up in this game as a corrupted enemy that you have to take down? Because some people were saying, oh, Wanda should be on your team. But Wanda's very powerful. I mean, super powerful. Like Doctor Doom powerful, <laughs> in my opinion. So to me, she, she can upset the very fabric of reality if she wants to. That to me is too much power for a character in a game where you're, you know, trying to build and, you know, and you could, you know, you, you need to struggle a little bit and stuff. So from a narrative standpoint, playing as a, a Wanda that's already into her career as a powerful being, that doesn't really work so much for me as uh, to make her playable. But if she turns out that, you know, to be playable, that's sure. I, I'm, maybe she'll be powered down a little bit. But I'm just saying at a fully powered Wanda doesn't make sense to be on your team but she does make sense to be an enemy in the game. So I'm wondering if we're going to see Wanda as someone you have to stop at some point. And not because she's evil, but because she's been corrupted by Lilith. And then it got me thinking of all the other Marvel characters that we might see. Like maybe Doctor Doom, although I don't think Doom would like being taken over by somebody, so I think he might avoid that at, at every chance he gets and keep Lilith away from him. Um, but there are other characters, Marvel characters, you know, like uh, X-Men, Avengers, uh, you know, maybe, who, I don't know if they're allowed to use Spider-Man characters, they haven't said that yet. But whatever it is, you know, I know some people have been saying like maybe not because of the copyright stuff but I don't know like I don't know how all that works <laughs> so uh so we'll, we'll see when you know all the other characters are revealed but the Daily Bugle's in this game and they did mention like other you know places that you'll fight and they mentioned some like Limbo and some other areas where other characters could come from so I'm, I'm really excited to see where this goes and to see which characters heroes and villains get corrupted by Lilith and fall under her spell I'm really really anxious to see who the boss battles in this game is I think someone mentioned Dracula before as like someone they hope to see in this and that would be really cool too if Lilith took over Dracula and then you have to you know, take Blade and the others to go fight him that could be really cool too. So I'm just thinking in my head, what villains would I like to see corrupted? Uh, so many. So let's talk about it down in the comments below. Let me know yours and I'll let you know some of mine. Thanks so much for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see y'all in hell. Peace.